We just went live on Instagram asking for topics. That's it. We did. We got a couple that I thought was interesting. Size worst nightmare. Size worst nightmare was a good one. Size, what is your worst nightmare? It's got to involve snakes. Boo! Yeah. Yeah. I've actually, my worst nightmare is I couldn't get out of the bed because I thought there was a snake on the floor around my bed. So you stayed in bed all the time? Well, I stayed in bed. So if, if they're a nightmare, he does that all the time. No, no, well, no, no, what done it, okay, is that the air conditioner broke in my old house. That is a nightmare. Okay, look, so, <laughs> you know, I call the air conditioner guy, this old man and his son show up, okay, and we take that air conditioner out of the window unit, okay, carry it mm-hmm. to his pickup truck, set it on the back of it, Go back in the house, and, and the day before that, I'd come in right before it broke and turn the air conditioner on. Mm-hmm. As soon as I turned it on and the air come out of it, I said, yeah, I smell a snake. You know, mm. I could I could smell the odor of them. Yeah. You know? So then the air conditioner broke, called the air conditioner man, and we take it to put it in his pickup truck and come back. His son comes back, walking back in, and he said, hey, y'all need to come out and look at what I just killed that come out of that air conditioner. Uh-oh. So we go outside. It's sitting on the back of his pickup truck tailgate, okay, and he had about a four-and-a-half, five-foot rattler, had like eight wow. rattlers on it. My question is, okay, the stupid air conditioner window, okay, is like five feet high. There's nothing around, no vegetation that he could crawl up and get in. How did the snake get in that air conditioner? He crawled over you to get there. How does a mouse get where he gets? Well, no, no, I'm just going to like show up in the most. The only thing, it was a big oak tree right there beside that air conditioner. He had to climb up that, air, that, that oak tree. And, I don't think rattlesnakes can climb. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can. Snakes can climb. Oh, yeah. They can jump. Yeah. I don't, no, no, I don't see too many snakes in, in the, on limbs in, in the woods. Yep, yep. They can climb. Rattlesnake? Yeah. yeah. I ain't never seen oh, no, a rattlesnake no. in a Well, tree. I ain't needed it, but I've seen like blue racers. Chicken snakes, because blue racers and chicken snakes actually are deadly on the wood duck population. Hmm. So they rest, they nest in trees. Okay, oh, yeah. Martin. And I've seen all kinds of chicken snakes. This was a point I was going to get to. Okay, it's like ahead. those two snakes are rat snakes, mm-hmm. and so their scale pattern on their belly allows them to climb because they can grip and go vertical. Okay, but yeah. they're they're one of the only families of snakes that have that ability. The rest of them have to have a way to get up there. So your worst nightmare involves being surrounded by snakes and you can't get out of bed. Oh, right, can't get out of bed because I'm afraid he's going to dope pop. Goblin, you got a bad nightmare? Bad nightmare? No, I don't ever dream. <laughs> so you don't have a hypothetical I I one? Dream. Like, you do. I dream most times it's I'm late for hunting. I'll get up and I'll jump, you know. It's and it's about 30 minutes late. before you yeah. should have got up anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where all mine are. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up in a panic thinking I'm yeah. late. You late and everybody's gone and you ain't got a way to get to the duck blind. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. it's even 30 minutes before you was going to wake up. And, and the worst part of that is, is that's the day that they tear them up. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's, the, the that's the nightmare part of it. You show up late and don't get to go and then they just burn the guns barrel. That's Johnny D. That's you got foam on. I don't have nightmares per se, but one time I woke up in in a panic because my roommate was shaking me saying somebody was in my house. Oh, he miscounted the minors. No, no, this was when we were younger. <laughs> oh, it was a bad deal. All right. So he wakes me up and he's shaking me. And he said somebody's in the house. Somebody's in the house. And it's like eleven o'clock. And I'm like, what you talking about? He goes, somebody's in the house. I said. How is somebody in the house? He goes, all the lights are on and every door in the house is open. And I was like, what? So I grabbed a baseball bat that I kept beside my bed, you know, for hitting people in just such occasional rows. That's right. And so we start down the hall, and he's in front of me. So I'm like, well, you should have the bat. So I hand him the bat. And And sure enough. went back to bed. No, we get to the living room. Every light in the house is on. The doors are all, uh, front doors open, back doors open, garage doors. There's two double doors just wide open. And it's raining like crazy. And I was like, oh, no, somebody is in the house. Well, I just got out of bed, too. So I grabbed the closest shorts I saw, which were from high school track. So they didn't cover much. They were very short. And then we got to the kitchen. And I was like, somebody's in this house. I've never been that scared in my life. For real. Was there anybody in the house? Hold on. It gets better. It's getting there. 
So at this point, he's got a bat, and I'm bigger than him, like way bigger. You know, you're in track shorts, and I'm only in track shorts, and you're in the back, and I'm in the back, and I'm like, I need a weapon. I look over, and there's a pot, and it's got a little mac and cheese in it. But Uh we're in college, right? That's why he's bigger. So I grab that, and I'm like, somebody's in this house, and so we're about to make the last turn, and I promise you, this is a true story. The biggest bolt of lightning that's ever struck near Caroli Park in West Monroe hits, power goes out at that exact moment. And I'm somebody's in my house for sure now, and I know it, so I leave. Man, they've made scary movies about this. Oh, yeah. and your uh, boys seen them? Oh, you never knew who was in there. I, Godwin, I took uh, – I've never ran that fast in my life, and my buddy's super fast, and I'm, I'm – he – he stopped. You like, were squealing the whole way too, wouldn't you? No, no. <laughs> no, no. I never made a noise. So we get outside and we're in front of the house. My buddy slows down and stops. I just kept going, not really thinking. Cause I don't have I left my phone in my room. It's time to call somebody. There's an emergency. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go to the neighbor's house. They're friendly. So I knock on my neighbor's door at eleven o'clock at night. And the power out. Their power was on. And short shorts. So I didn't really take into account what had happened. So I'm knocking on the door and Mr. Carpenter opens the door and he looks at me and I look down and I'm wearing yellow short shorts and I'm holding a pan of macaroni and cheese. Mm. And I said, are you hey. hungry? Let's, let's picture this for a minute. <laughs> right, right. I said, are, you, are you hungry? And your college age. There's a knock no. on your door. At 11 o'clock. I'm thinking you, you done found it. a bad batch of mushrooms. No, 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 no. I know, but I'm just saying if yeah. I'm him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's looking at me. Oh, I, when I moved out of that house, he's like, hey, I really appreciate that one night. We tell the story all the time. And I'm like, thanks, man. Um, but I'm like, hey, I, can I use your phone? Somebody's in our house. And, I, and the poli- I called the police. Cause it was freaky. Did you change before they got there? No, I, I just stood out in the rain in my short yeah, short. Yeah. I cleaned the pot with the I rain. I about to say, did you hide your pot at least? No, I was going to hit somebody with that thing. <laughs> and then the cop showed up and was like, yeah, it's probably just uh, the wind blew open every door in the house. I think somebody was messing with us, but but it was really scary. And the power went out at just the opportune time to make you want to poop your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, I'm going to the neighbor's house, and I just ran. Oh, hey. And my buddy catches up. He's like, why did you go to their house? We look really stupid right now. I said, you woke me up. I was asleep. All you had to do was close the doors. Yeah. All you had to do was turn the lights off and go to bed. Oh. And I'd have never been none the wiser. Oh, it was uh, scary. That was my worst nightmare, uh, being scared than ending up at your neighbor's house with a pan of a dirty pan of mac and cheese and short shorts. Wow. That's my worst nightmare. And it happened, so. I bet your neighbor answers that question of getting his door beat in by a guy wearing short shorts carrying a half a skillet of mac and cheese. That's right. Mac and cheese. I know. Because if somebody did that to mine, I'd be like, all right, you got to go. <laughs> oh, he brought me his phone. Uh, we you, called, he stayed uh, there. You, you'd have been on down the road. Oh, he's a nice guy. We knew each other, kind of. Like, we were friendly yeah. neighbors. Well, if I knowed you, I guess it'd be them. But- See, I went to his house instead of the house next to me because – I thought yeah. they might be the ones in the house. I, For the love of me, I wish Phil Robertson was your neighbor. Would not I, have gone to his I, house. <laughs> nope. I'd would like to know what happened. You show up at Phil's house wearing short shorts and a half a pot of mac and cheese. <laughs> See, Martin, I would have taken my chances with what is unknown <laughs> rather than go to the what is certain. <laughs> yeah, probably a pretty good look. Here. Wow. Well, there you go. Worst nightmares right here. That's mine. Lived it. Let's, let's take our first break. We'll try to figure out what licensed therapist is listening to this and what all this means or nothing else have a bowl of mac and cheese mac and cheese baby labor day you're grilling burgers you're not steaming your buns and hot sweaty underwear and that's where our buddies (laughs) that's where our buddies over at tommy john about tommy john say keep your buns cool boys And hey, we don't have fans, we have fanatics. Because there's 13 million of them to be exact. Comfortable underwear rule. <laughs> Life's too short for not comfortable underwear. Could you I got, imagine? I got 20 pair of them, baby. Every day, just sandpaper in your pants? Hey. Whenever you could be buying Tommy John and feel just great? I'm, I'm in. Look, I will say, in Tommy John underwear, you're that much cooler so that you can do everything better thanks to breathable lightweight fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands with dozens of comfort innovations from the hammock pouch 
to the horizontal quick draw fly, Tommy John keeps you looking and feeling cool. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. Well, they have side. We got fanatics, Look, baby. With over 17 million pairs sold, people love their Tommy John underwear and loungewear. And Tommy John doesn't just make you feel cooler, you actually are cooler. Stay up to seven degrees cooler than cotton in Tommy John's Apollo underwear. We love them. We know you will too. Plus, there's no risk because you're covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. Cy loves them. Goblin loves them. I love them. Johnny D loves them. And so will you. Shop Tommy John's Labor Day sale now through September 6th at TommyJohn.com slash duck, duck and save 25% site-wide. Get 25% off site-wide right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for Order details. Order now. Man, I wish like cell phone cameras were really good back then, because that video is probably circulating somewhere. Somebody was sitting outside in some bushes watching. Right. Yeah. I don't know who. Oh, it, we did. They've that. never claimed it. We did that one time to uh, Paula's. Uh, what was she? Her sisters and her husband never. He said it's Christmas. Never gonna decorate his house. He just talked about how that was so stupid. Oh, stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, me and Paula's brother and Paula and sister-in-law went over and decorated his house for him. And it wasn't very good. It was just lit up. Oh, we put instead of ho, 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 we put ho on top of the roof. Just, all kind of stuff in the yard. And then we put a camera up on the wall in the carport. So they come pulling up. And son, was he mad. Oh, he went to rake, ripping lights off. He was of, mad about Christmas? Oh, thing? yeah. He was ripping lights. I don't know. Scrooge, my God. Whoever done it. The Grinch. Yeah. So we eating Christmas dinner on Christmas Day. And we just popped that video in there. Uh, everybody's watching. It was the crazy. It was the neatest thing because he, he was so embarrassed. He was well. He wasn't speaking very nice. But, I mean, I don't know how much money we spent on light. We had a million lights on that. It took him a while to get rid of all that stuff. We even had a postcard too before. I mean, a piece of plywood postcard. To Santa? Yard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Si's playing the drums on his microphone. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got to make noise, boys. Hey, he can't help it. He can't help it. Hey, another thing. That's a good one. That is a good one. I want to decorate someone else's house for Christmas. You come decorate mine. That's what we need to do. You got to start decorating now that you're going to have kids. Let's do it. That's a rule. Oh, yeah. 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 I had to do it. What? Candy cane. uh, I decorate. Poles that hold up your porch. I got a leg lamp. Lights on top of the room. What is all the noise? You'll be Everybody is touching their mic. You'll be leaving. Playing with Maggie. You'll be leaving cooking out for Santa. The, the, there's all these mysteries. If or I, I shook up. No, yeah. it's fine. Si, the other thing that was brought up was said if you were on a deserted island. Uh-oh. And mm-hmm. could have one item. One item. What is it? Raquel Welch. <laughs> I never I, would thought that was coming. I don't like to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go to Google hey, for that one because hey, I don't know what the producer just said. I don't know who that is. Hey, I don't oh, think no. I do. You don't, Raquel? Well, hey, yeah, she's British. Yeah, come on, Hammer. She's you gonna have to go back to size heyday. Hey, she's a drop dead good looking woman. In- she was in Fantastic Voyage. Isn't that a song by Coolio? <laughs> and I think I'm right. She was in a Western. Yep. Uh, yeah. And she was in that dinosaur movie. One million years. I can't remember. Seen? I don't know. I never. I hey, just remember. to be clear, she's 81 now. I don't know how much help she's going to be on the island. Well, he's 74. So. Well, yeah. hey. I said, I just like company. He's <laughs> yeah. he just trying to talk. I yeah. know, hey. There you go. She was also on Andy Dufresne's wall in Shawshank. She was Is one that, of them. Oh, that's she was one, one of Dufresne's them. wall. Mm-hmm. One of his posters that hit his hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. In, her, in her day. Yeah, yeah not. Martin, she she was have? fine as wine. On a sweet potato vine. <laughs> that's right, that's right. On an island? Yeah. By yeah. myself? Yeah. Fishing pole. Fishing pole. Wouldn't have no hook. 
Well, I would think that you could get that all as one setup. I don't know. Maybe not. If we're uh, getting that not. specific. Maybe not. I know a guy. Yeah. Um, fishing pole with a jackhammer tied on it, and I'm going to take my chances <laughs> in the salt water with it. Oh, you'd catch something. Oh, you'd have to have a 100-pound test. That's fine. They didn't say we had no restriction. Mm-hmm. Sean, what are you taking? Some Vienna sausage? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Macaroni and tea. Uh, um, just a frying pan. A frying pan, pan boy. Uh, I don't know what I would take. We have coconuts there to I'm, drink. Water. I think you're on to something with the fishing pole. Well, I mean, yeah. You got to have something to eat. And it just passed the time quicker until you got um, rescued. And hopefully. That's why. I want that's somebody. way more fun than... Hey, that's why I want somebody with me. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to be on a deserted island by myself. Well, then it ain't deserted. What about what about a phone? <clears throat> a phone? You don't have no service out <laughs> no, there. You don't no, think? No Satellite phone. phone. Just call it. Satellite phone. phone. There you go. That was actually what, in Castaway, whenever he took that box back and never opened it, that's what was in it. Was it? Maybe. <laughs> he never oh, opened it. How are we to know? He said maybe. Nobody opened it. This yeah, package it saved my life. As we wrote, and I'm like, bro, what if there? What if it could have? You should have opened it. Did they have satellite phones in? I mean, they had. They had satellites. Did they? We'd been to the moon. I'd like to be having a catering business come out there all the time when you're on a dirt, deserted island. That's your one item? Yeah, that's it's, my one item. A catering full. business? Hey, a catering. So I said his one, his one deal is yeah. butler service. That's right. That's, hey, right. that's right. All I'm taking with me, butler hey, service. Guy, wait a minute. Johnny, that ain't hey, so bad. Johnny Pizza. Johnny Pizza, okay, delivers. <laughs> that would be a long delivery. <laughs> well, hey. It's not going to be good by then. Oh, you ever Oh, no, they guarantee it to be hot. <laughs> or your Heart's back. free. <laughs> Heart's free. That's right. <laughs> Sign Raquel Welch just enjoying some pizza on the island. <laughs> hey, just Unreal. enjoying some pizza, enjoying the sun, the sun down and sun up. Cutting locks off. That's that, boys. And meanwhile, Miss Christine back at home enjoying the most peace and quiet she's That's ever it. had. That's With it. a big she's smile on her face. Uh-huh. So I ain't beating, tapping, banging on nothing. Hey. No bells to be heard, boys. No bells, ain't that something? That is something. Wow. You know what else is something? This break. Absolutely. Let's take it. Martin, what are you doing? Are you playing video games again? I'm fishing. The- he sure is. Fishing. Martin, I've told you a hundred times. That's not the way to do it anymore. Yeah, get a real one. Get a backbone controller, plug it into your phone, and you've got a gaming console right there in your pocket. In your phone. In on your phone. Side yeah. side's thing about getting a phone finally, because he found out it's a video game yeah. console too. Level up your game with Backbone, Martin, the universal gaming essential that instantly enhances your gaming experience on mobile. Backbone just released a PlayStation edition, by the way. And look, I can play my PlayStation that's sitting at my house from my phone with a controller that's just plugged into my phone. It's the coolest thing ever. Uh you know what? I might have to call my kids and play a little Fall Guys with them. They're on the Switch. I'm on the PlayStation. I dominate, and they just try and keep up. But look, <laughs> you're going to want one. Well, these things are actually super cool. I love it. I'm, I am I got to get Martin one because he keeps coming in here and playing that fishing game on his phone. So look, go to playbackbone.com slash duck right now to order your backbone for a limited time and get free access to over 350 console games and perks and backbone is now the official partner of diablo immortal not only is the game specifically optimized for backbone but you will also receive ten dollars of in-game perks find your next adventure at playbackbone.com slash duck walking around on Weird how that works. what's that word again oh yeah feet i've been watching little mermaid a lot <laughs> What you been? You been watching Little Mermaid? They got three year old man. What's kids on that? The Lottie. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it seems like Ben's may be into it. Nah, we play Fall Guys. There you go. Fall oh, Guys. It's a fun game. On Switch. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. dominant. I don't know what it is. I've just heard about it. You should join in. It's a good. Never game. heard of it before in my life. I took an IQ test yesterday. What'd you make? One thirty two. Wow. Dude. Was it on the internet or was it on paper? Oh, hey. uh, some deal on my phone. Some oh, new hey. app I downloaded. Oh, they want you to buy something. They did try to get me to buy the full report. That's what I I'm said, talking no, about. I ain't, I ain't doing that. He's mm. solid with one. Thing. I'm not that smart. Yeah, you just apparently. hurt yourself. Wow. What was your next Instagram live report, Martin? That they wanted. Yeah. What did the the people want us to talk I'm about? Gonna, they wanted to know how you forgive somebody. Ooh. When you're really angry with them. Mm. That was one of them. 
I'm trying to figure out how to forgive the He's smile hung. that just smashed my fingers. You was hung in between. I was. A rock and a hard place. So they went from magnets. ridiculous questions to... to... To real life seriousness. Yeah. That's so hard. how do you do it, Si? That's hard. Forgiveness for that's somebody actually, you're really mad at. Hey, that's actually a good question. And the answer to it is, is okay, what good is it doing you to not forgive? Okay. That's the best part of this. I can if know, you, but how do you get you, it out of your head? No, no. If you can't forgive, you can't move on. That's true. Okay. And 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 if the deal about God says, okay, if why are you worried about it? Worrying about it, can you change what has happened? If you can't change it, why are you sitting there just letting it eat you up inside? All it's going to do is that's going to be bad for you, for your health. If you just kept, you know, so the guy did you wrong or the girl did you wrong. There you go. Hey, do you really think you're going to go through this life on earth and never be hurt or never have someone do you uh, injustice? No, you're, you're, that ain't you're, never going you're living in a, in a fantasy world. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have trials and tribulations, okay? Everybody is going to have them. The one thing that you can do about it is how you respond to it. That's the only thing you can control in this situation. Someone's done you wrong, okay? So how are you going to deal with it? What's the maddest you ever been at somebody? I had a guy that hit on my wife when she was pregnant. You forgave him? Yeah. And at the time, I could have killed him. There you go. That's tough, wasn't it? Oh, no, no. And I and I, I told him so. Yeah. Because, see, he knew the story, okay? It wasn't it? This was not just somebody I knew. He oh, was, he was in. He was a considered friend, and he knew the whole story about how much trouble we had had getting pregnant. There you go. Okay. And then not only that, plus, to make it even worse, he had a drop dead wife just gorgeous and the sweetest personality ever you know so it kind of made me mad two ways there you go you know, he knew the story and then you're going to do this to that wonderful lady you're you're married to mm -hmm. so you was mad oh no you was big oh, no. mad oh no no I could have killed him yeah if I'd act, and I told him to his face I said hey if you ever come over to my house again while I'm not there I will hunt you down, and I will kill you. Ooh. But then you forgave him. But I did. I got over it. Yeah. Okay. Because it was bothering me. Yeah, it started it, affecting your No, well, well, it affected my relationship with my wife, for crying out loud. Yeah. yeah. yeah you can't let somebody and else I just It was eating me up inside, and I said, wait a minute. Why are you letting this idiot affect you that way? There it was go. his stupidity. Okay, don't you go stupid too and let him, you know, run your life. There you go. Yeah. That's good. God, when you ever been mad, big mad, where you had to forgive somebody you didn't want to? Yeah. But you got there? I got there. Yeah. The toughest part of this It took is, a little time, yeah. but, I mean, like, I said, I mean, if you really think about it, in, an, in the heat of the moment, you're not thinking about it. Oh, you're just mad. Yeah, it's just emotional reaction. But then you carry that mad, mad on for weeks and weeks and weeks and stress and, uh, fun, you know, it's just, it ain't no it ain't no fun. You're mad all the time. You're mad to your friends and you're mad to this. You might as well just. Bitterness creeps in oh, no. which here's, is a whole different thing to this. Than anger. it just keeps coming it yeah. just keeps growing yeah. and growing and growing it festers you got to get yeah. rid of it the key to this is okay you didn't ask me the the really the important question did i actually really forget it no i don't think those two are necessarily correlated well, that's why yeah, i didn't but, ask you but uh, but uh, to a certain degree you've got to forget it because if you don't you really didn't forgive 
No, you, yeah, I agree. But you, no. you so can. You for, still, it still yeah. irritates me when somebody asks you and brings it up. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to do but, that now. No, 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 no. But I'm saying the anger is not there anymore. Yeah. Okay. So I did forget it because yeah. I don't let it bother me. It's not there anymore. But when that situation arises again, the memory comes back and you know better. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, I don't think forgiveness mean, equals forgetfulness. I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't. Yeah, but to be totally clear of it. Yeah. You've got to be, be able to forget it. Yeah, I'm saying forgetting what it did to you in that stage and do it. But I'm saying like the next time that situation approaches you, you're like, yeah, I've seen this yeah, before. And I've been this. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. This is an old story. I know what to do. Yeah, this is an old story. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what I'm getting at. Okay. Not that, yeah. yeah, no, you forget the feelings and the emotions. You yeah. you, you lay it at the feet of Jesus and you call it good. Because John is, said it, okay, it was, when the anger comes there, then you keep letting it fester. Mm -hmm. That's a good word. Yeah. Okay, because it's kind of like a, uh, a mic microbe. Microbe has yeah. got it in your body. Well, if a microbe gets into your body and starts eating on you, that's bad. <laughs> We're back on that deserted oh, island. No, oh, no, I no, had no. one of them microbes this morning. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. But it's bad. The stress comes in. And look, hey, doctors will tell you, stress is one of the biggest killers the human race has got. Yeah, silent killer. Get okay. your blood pressure yeah. up. Yeah. Get everything oh, yeah. up. Yeah. Everything goes berserk when you get stressed out. Mm -hmm. And anger is one of the things that will take it and stress it out. Yeah. Okay. That's why I said the Bible says it better. You know, God asked you a question. Hey, right? can you can you actually change it? You know, and there's a there's a little phrase about that. Fix what you can fix. If you can't fix it, don't worry about it. If you can't control it and change the outcome, then don't let don't let it. Do that to you. Yeah, you know, that's just being stupid. It's hard. Just yeah. like forgiving you. Yeah. What about forgiving yourself? Well, no, no. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. When you screw up. Yeah. That's a hard thing to that's do. That's the hardest part Buddy, of it. Buddy, that's preaching right there. Yeah. That, that's good. Oh, no. Because that's what, you know, religion, you know, that's where the road, you know, rubber meets the road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because we, we have the problem, okay, that, like, no one knows you better than yourself. Okay? Sure. And then when you do something stupid and hurt someone that you love dearly, you know, we won't forgive ourselves. That's right. Okay? And all you're doing by not doing it is you're just hurting yourself worse. Okay? Because no, God, God wipes it clean. Once you went to go to him and say, hey, yeah, it's me, and I did it again. And, yeah, I know it's stupid, and I'm so mad about it, I could spit. Yeah. When God says, I for I I've forgot it and forgiven you, it's gone. It's clean. It right. no longer exists. We need to take a lesson from that. I know. It's so yeah. hard. To, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I've asked people, I've asked people to come church with us you know come with me Sunday I said well I need to straighten up you know before <laughs> before I do that I'm thinking when do you go to the doctor when you're sick or when you get well <laughs> well no no because you'll never say hey uh, I, that's a good one. Oh, no no I hadn't heard that I've used no no I've used that line I well I, I'm, I'm I'll come when I get straightened out yeah. You missed the point, son. Hey, the reason you need to come is you ne that, you're messed up. That's where the alignment yeah. tool is. Just like me. Yeah. 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 That's where the you alignment tool is. You need to come to is. where I'm going because, hey, you need help. Yeah. That's funny. God, I said, oh, no. when you go to the doctor, when you get yeah. sick or yeah. after you've been yeah. well, doc, boy, I was sick last week. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, son. Yeah. I'm here <laughs> you think I ought to do about it? That's good. Uh, that's All right. That well, dog, that dog right, give, me, will, give me $40. Yeah, that dog I'll won't hunt. I'll see you next week. That dog won't hunt, boys. There you go. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Did I tell you? About what? What my mom's been taking. What's she been taking? What's she taking? She, she finally listened to the podcast, and she said, you know what? Do you have any of that Omega XL? I said, of course I do, Mom. Oh, your mom's on that bag, too? So is mine. She said, so look, we, she works that pricing gun a lot at the Honey Hole, and her hands hurt, 
She said after three days, she could tell a huge difference. See, my mom's on that bag, too, because, I, you know, we're staying with them now through the remodel. Yeah. And I got digging around up there looking for some Benadryl because uh, I, I had me a little a little mild allergic reaction I was trying to knock out. And I said, well, look at here. She said, make it. So I asked her about it. She said, yeah, it helps me. She said, so I wasn't lying about it. My, said, my mom's on. believer. Tell them about hey, it, Hey, si. the word is, boys. Hey, and look, you can only find this on one place on this planet. Okay. Where's that? Pristine waters of New Zealand. And our listener, Diane, even says, hey, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for pointing us to Omega XL. My hubs can't even close his fist if he doesn't have them here talking about the omega xl look we've been telling y'all all along the science proves it look when we're young our bodies produce spms their nature's way of keeping joints healthy as we get older it just don't happen anymore so omega xl can help rejuvenate your spm alleviating inflammation when inflammation leaves pain leaves with it omega xl can restore your spms and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like you did when you were young. Just order like a fountain of youth, boys. Yeah, baby. And if you order Omega XL right now, you get a second bottle. And it's free. For free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or you can call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. For not one. But two bottles and the last one's free. Anything interesting in your diabetic journey we can talk about? Martin, no, I can talk about it a little bit. I still hadn't learned what all I can eat. You still ain't figured that out yet? I guess if I would read, read, read something about it, it might help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do it on my own. Watch a video, man. Don't don't read it. <laughs> you know where this deal is? YouTube? Heck of a source of information. Yeah, I know it. I need hey, it. I take the time. When in doubt, it's, Google it. It's a... Uh, I mean, hey. Miss Paula, Miss Paula built a uh, what do you call them? A pound cake mm -hmm. or yeah. angel food cake? Yep, or something. Both I, of them. I had to sit there and watch them eat it. You know, I couldn't have it. Too much sugar. Is that getting easier for you? Yeah, it is. But boy, I just thinking, boy, because she had that whipped cream on there. And, Strawberries. I said, why do you want to do it? Because we had some friends over to eat. But, um, yeah, just learning what I, what to eat. I'm doing pretty good. I'm keeping pretty steady. I got it now where it's it's staying between 90 and 120. But when I eat it, it goes up. So Still just one pill? Yeah. That's good. Look at you. Yep. What's your favorite new thing? My favorite new thing is them eggwiches. Them eggwiches. I'm e eating for breakfast. Eggwich? Uh, yeah. How's that? Let me hear about it's that. A, it's <laughs> a, I'll follow you to eating anywhere Jim, we go. Jimmy so. Dean makes, builds them, and it's, but you got to get the turkey sausage, and you got cheese on it, and it's the bread part, like it's a biscuit, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, except for the bread part is egg white. Okay. I'm in on that. Okay, it's good. Yeah, that sounds just like a good decision. Period. It's just well, a, it's just an omelet sandwich. An omelet well, sandwich. Uh, an omelet that, you can tote. Yeah. Jimmy Dean makes good tasting stuff. Oh yeah, he can sing okay. good too. Oh JD. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. I can sing good. I like that. That's Billy Dean. Oh. And um, it's his cousin. And uh, let's see what else. Turkey uh, sausage is good, by the way. It's way better than turkey bacon. I was about to say, if you said turkey bacon, I think we got to call a timeout. Yep. But I can agree with turkey sausage. Turkey sausage, yeah. I ain't been mad about any meat they made into sausage yet. That's, I got to find. Except for the Vienna. I got to find, like, sugar-free stuff, which some of it. I got some uh, baby rays. It's not sweet baby rays. It's just baby rays. No, it's sugar no sugar. sugar okay. Sugar-free. No sugar added. No, no. Clever. Of course, there is some in it, but it's not. It's not none added. So there you go. But you just gotta be watchful of your portions, and then your your stomach will start shrinking. I done lost twelve pounds. So the egg witch, though, okay, that's been the fine. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I could eat them all day. Well, it probably would be counterproductive. Well, no, no, because that extent. ain't a bad deal. I know it, but. Yeah, that ain't a bad deal, though, because you can do it. Yeah. 
Oh, and I like him, uh, Johanna cooked some chicken the other day. Drumstick lollipops. Oh, yeah, where you shove them down? Yeah, she said, yeah. she told me a steak ain't the only thing that needs a handle. <laughs> so does chicken baby i said that's a good baby there you go but them things were good hey that's yeah. good so is the whole house on a diet now yeah more or less yeah that's the funny thing about diets ain't nobody on one then when one person gets it the whole house ends up on one of course them gals they don't care about it. they don't bother them no. You know, us, we don't get, yeah, hey, what a diet. Yeah, you come home find us in the closet with a bag yeah. of Oreos. Like, yeah, you know right. what I mean? I've never been there. <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. Them gals, they don't care if they're on a diet. Or, I mean, they'll eat that, you know, stuff. Of course, I like salads. I'll eat more salads, you know. What dressing? Oh, I'm going to have my dressing Thousand Island, baby. It's a Thousand Island. Where did, that, where did it get its name from? I'm, I'm interested in that. Is it like the Thousand, Thousand Island area of New York? or like where Yeah, did that's where from? they built it at. Is it? I don't know, but oh. I like it. <laughs> Sounds good. They had to go to a Thousand yeah. Islands. Oh, I like that. Uh, to find ketchup, mayonnaise, and relish. I like that. <laughs> I like that ginger dressing. Hey, you're right. Is it really? Yep. Holy cow. Comes from the Thousand Islands region. That's what I'm talking about. Along the upper St. Lawrence River. That's, That's good the fishing. only spicy thing they got up there where it's any good. <laughs> That's it, Well, huh? it, no, they got some good fish, them lobsters and all that. See, I ain't eat all that. All the fish you want. Oh, yeah. Fish and poultry. You good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm in. Yeah, I mean, I can think of worse ways to live. Yeah. <laughs> eat me a steak every now and then. Got to be. I'm going to eat me one. Because, look, it's my... 60th birthday coming up. Whoa! Hey, there it is. Happy birthday. I made it, and uh, we're going on a trip. Me and uh, Paula and her brother and sister, sister-in-law, we're going up in the mountains. I ain't going to tell you where, but it's going to be a pretty neat place. Oh, it's an awesome place. Hey, and your and fishing going, license is only going to be $5 next year. I don't think I'm dangerous anymore. Oh, look at that, Goblin. Come Monday, you can hunt and fish for $5. Yeah, I'm going to use my senior discount. You better believe it everywhere I go. Yep. I just, yeah. I just got size for him today. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I ain't going to get mine until after my birthday. How come? I do have a question. John D., you may know this since you sell hunting and fishing licenses. Yes, we do. I've been trying to figure out if Cy needs a state duck stamp or not, and I can't get an answer. Since he's 60, and he got that combo hunt fish thing. Nope, it's included. It's included. All right. But I'm also not a game warden, so you cannot use We it called them, too. They didn't know. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. transferred me to seven different departments. Yeah. I'm almost just, positive yeah. everything's included once you're 60. Except a hip. I got his hip. You got to get hit, but you got to do that yeah. on your own. I can't help yeah. you. Yeah, I so did that. What's, what's the deal? I ain't getting mine until I'm 60. Apparently, all you got to do is get that, and you got to get a federal duck stamp and a hip. Yep, and you're good to go. And you're good for everything. Go by Johnny yeah. D's. And, get you and that, tax bro, bro hunting. Here's the way they had it. had it where it was real nice. I'll get them on my phone so I can just. You, know, you could get it at TP and get all of it. One sweep. Oh, man. That's hateful, ain't it, Johnny D? Okay. And look, well, hey, all the honey holes. <laughs> <laughs> Since we give him the See, I, I was at TP the other hey, day. When, Great when, place. But anyway. Hey, Johnny D makes like 36 cents off that license. Hey, no, 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> I charge a dollar just for convenience. But it man. worked. And then you could look and you you could put your, everything they gave you, you could put it in a little, just like a, a, a packet. Credit man. card holder. It, it'll go straight to your phone. You can okay. bear it on now, now I've got a they book. They charge $5. Yeah, now I've got a book. That they gave me. Oh, yeah. Look at, oh, hey. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, 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 for I sure. I need to put it in my wallet. And that size is why we need to get you a cell phone. That's right. No, I won't <laughs> put it. all that on hey, you. My wife hey, what about, bought me what three about? of them. Matter of fact, y'all remind me of something I'm going to do. Get out. I'll have to get rid of I'm fixing to take over this little. Do you know how many? Oh, he found him a little packet there. Right. Do you know how many men size age yell at me over the way they print off hunting and fishing <laughs> licenses? All of them. Being the size of a book. Oh no. 
This is so ridiculous now. I got, Why don't they just do it on their phone? Now I got to hang around my neck. They ain't got phones. Punch because it. flip phones ain't got that. Hey. Punch, when you kill a deer, punch it in. Look. Text a tag. I would use a phone. That, I would use a phone if it worked. I've had the flip phone. The other oh, it works. The thousand, no, it don't. Mine does. <laughs> it don't. Mine. Let me give you my something wife that Phil, three of them. I hear Phil saying all the time. I don't wear that, a watch. What that time was, is it? That was oh. operator problem. It ain't operator. It, it is there. operator okay, problem. But you know I, what is there? I don't miss them. Hey, what do you call what? what do you call a hamburger's daughter? A hamburger solder? A hamburger's daughter. daughter. Hamburger's daughter. A hamburger's daughter. Mm-hmm. Give it to us. Over my head. Patty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Hamburger Patty, boy. All right, well, let's take a break. We'll be back Hamburger right Hamburger Patty, boy. Good grief. You ready to get in that mailbox, J.D.? Born ready. Born ready, boy. Well, open the mailbox. That's right. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Hello? That's the mailbox address. We get asked that often, so there it is again. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Dot com. All right. Ryan emails in. What's up, Ryan? I think he's from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. But Good country. Either oh. way, he drove from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Oh, North Cacolac. To Florence, South Carolina, and oh. his uh, subject line was Bucky's and God, which is oh, hey. not in that order, but two oh. of my favorite things. Um <laughs> Couldn't have one without the other, though. I mean, North and South, proof that the Lord boy, loves us. good country. Uh, anyway, he said Buggies was awesome. Uh, he Absolutely. sent pictures of his kids wearing all the clothes. It's hilarious. Yes. But he has a serious question. What's that? He believes in God and always has. I've also struggled with my faith and how to worship for just as long. Being in the Army hasn't helped with all of it. It's almost given me an excuse to not do the right things. Having a new daughter makes me realize I need to fix this, not only for me, but for her. Do you fellas have any advice? Do I need to treat church the way I treat the gym and just force myself to go? Why wouldn't you go? That's what that's what the pep rally is. It's a pep rally for all of us. Get to see you people i mean even at the gym you go to the gym and there's probably people you see at the gym that you never talk to but you see them and it kind of it's like you know what i'm saying you, you kind of you look at them and it makes you feel good to see them that they're doing that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing that you're there it's the same thing at church it's a big uh pet rally for us to get through the week we get to see our family members, people we ain't seen all week, maybe. You, you brought up the worship part, okay? And and we we actually say the term, and it actually is not in the Bible anywhere. Go to church, yeah. Okay, that's right. you're not actually going to church. Wherever the church is 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 meeting. Okay, you can go out in the wilderness under a big oak tree. You're going to be with the family. You're going to be with your brothers, sisters. Okay, God's family. You know, and like like you talking about it. You know, if you have to force yourself, you can worship anywhere, and you should. I worship seven twenty four. Wherever I'm at, I worship. Most of the time, I spend most of my time out in a duck blind or out in the woods deer hunting or on a lake fishing. And I'm out there enjoying what the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have created. Okay, so so you, maybe you need to redefine worship you know, to yourself. Okay, because if it's a if it's a drudgery, or if you had to force yourself to do it, yeah, but forcing yourself to do something can be the start of a well, good, no, no. can be the start of a good thing. You build a habit. Yeah. Humans yeah. are creatures of habit. Then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're not forcing yourself anymore. You want to go. Yeah. Like the hardest part, he's saying, force yourself to go to gym. The hardest thing is that first week. It started, and then you like, 
then you start feeling better. Yeah. And you're like, I kind of want to go to the gym. Yeah. Like, or, you know, in Godwin's case, I, Maybe want, I, didn't I make, want to eat better. I yeah. feel better now. Maybe I didn't make like, the point right. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, if that's what yeah. it takes to get the habit started, then yeah. by all, do whatever you feel like you need to do to get the habit started. And then figure out where it grows from there. Yeah. Um, uh, but whatever you do, make sure you take your daughter along with you. Yeah, Don't go by yourself. Take your whole family with you. Look at it as family time. Look at it as a Sunday morning date with your wife and your daughter, or what, however that dynamic is, whatever that is. But, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with forcing yourself to go there. There, are, You know, I, I mean, I hate the word force there, but there's, there's, well, there's nothing wrong with holding yourself accountable yeah. to show up when that building's open because you want to be a good influence for your wife and your daughter and all of that. So. Yeah, I don't like the word force, but guess what? Hey, whenever you're 30 years down the road and you love going to church, you're going to wake up one Sunday and you're not going to want to go. Yeah. There's going to be stuff going on. The weather's going to be bad. and You're going to feel go, bad or you know, like, 100 things. Yeah. But if you're in the habit, I've, I mean, I've done it a lot. I'm like, ooh, man, sleeping in sounds good. But then you go and you're like, man, I needed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say force yourself to go, but developing the habit of, hey, it's Sunday morning. What are we doing? Yeah. Everybody knows what we're doing. We're loading up and we're going to meet with the people family about Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Meet it, with the family. It'll wear off on you because you're you are who you hang out with most of the time, right? Yep. The more people you surround yourself with that are like minded and, and believers in Jesus, you're gonna start acting like them. So the best thing to do is just start hanging out with them. Yeah. Next thing you know. Wham, yeah. you're one of them. Yeah. <laughs> And then somebody's looking at you, and they're going to start acting like you, you know? Yeah, it's a cycle. That's how it works. But you do have to start the habit somewhere, and if that means to quote-unquote force yourself to go, then by all means. Force yourself force to go. Force yourself to go, whatever that looks like. You got a quick one? Do it. Um, do I have a quick one? I'll, I'll read this one, and I think we can do it quick because the whole third segment was about kind of anger and mm -hmm. forgiveness. Um. Logan, Kentucky, struggles with anger. It's not like he's angry all the time, but he keeps it bottled up. What are some ways we've dealt with it? I love God, but I just I, – he got anger problems, it sounds like. Yeah. How do you deal with anger? My brother, one of the best things he ever told me, okay, I was with one of his friends. When, when he ran up on Jesus and changed his lifestyle, all of his friends, his running buddies, drinking buddies, and whoring buddies, all showed up and asked the question, okay, come on, man, come and go with us. He said, you guys don't understand. The fellow y'all are looking for died. Okay. That's what I'll tell you about your anger. You've got to push your anger away. But my brother asked the elder, Bill, when am I going to have to stop fighting with all these evil thoughts I'm having? And Bill said, well, how long did you run and put these evil thoughts in your head with the devil? And Phil said, well, about 28 and a half years. And he said, well, you're going to have to get rid of all this garbage you've collected during them years, and then you're going to have to replace it with the fruit of the Spirit. Start getting rid of the anger, replace it with self-control. If you got a, a, a problem with overeating, you know, self-discipline, self-control, you're going to have to change all this stuff you're having trouble with, whatever it is. Anger, maybe you use bad language. Just stop saying it and then think about it. And then the other thing was, okay, it's who you hang with. My mother told me when I was a young kid, you'll be known by those you run with. And that's true. If they've got a bad reputation, guess what? You're with them, so guess what? You may have not done nothing. That's right. But you hang with them bunch that's got the bad reputation. You get it, too. Hey, it's going to be you. their stain will rub off on you. Same thing about the anger part, all this Whatever you're dealing with, whatever problem you got, you've got to address it and start self-control on it and then replace it with something. You know, it took my brother Phil forever 
to realize that. Okay? And they see me, myself, the same thing. That's why the Bible says, hey, look, why are you looking at your brother, okay, and telling him about something when you've got a log stuck in your eye? First, get rid of the log in your eye, then maybe you can help your brother. You know? And that's, that's where we're all at with our problems. Okay, we need to address it, and you're addressing it. Okay, you know you've got an anger problem. My my deal is, hey, look up the uh, Galatians in Galatians. I think three twenty-five, something like that, around that, or five, five, five twenty-three, chapter five, yeah, five twenty-three. <laughs> I always get it backwards, boy. That was all. Right. That was all there. Yeah, but, hey, just keep if you got on Galatians three, just keep reading until you get there. But anyway, okay, that's the thing. Whatever problem you got, God's got the answer for you. Okay, and, and really, first the Holy Spirit is the an answer to a lot of the human beings' problems. Okay, whatever your problem got, kick it out the door and take on, take on something God's got for you, like self-control, love, forgiveness, brotherly love, kindness, joy, all the good peace, stuff. Patience. Yeah. All the good stuff. Kindness. Okay. Purpose. That's my, That's my right. deal for you. That's a great answer. There you go. I Love like it. it. Replace it with joy. Yeah. Because, hey, joy rules. You don't want it. Okay, so get rid of it. And then replace it with something that you do want. I like that. Bible verse, Martin? Yeah. You ready? Roll. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to do a little call back to our little segment on forgiveness. Uh, Matthew 18, Peter came to Jesus and said, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Peter kind of thought he was like, look at me, I'm going to forgive seven times. And Jesus said, I tell you not seven times, but 77 times. Forgiveness is just part of our walk. Amen. And Jesus didn't mean at 78, that's okay, now you can stop. He meant you forgive and you forgive and you forgive because yeah. I paid the price to forgive you. Keep on trucking. Boom. All right, I'll see y'all when I get back from Wyoming. Right. We're out. Oh, good luck on Later, your Martin. up there.